We say that, in fact, we have too little information, not too much, in the world. And we think that we are standing or facing an imminent threat of innovation famine and not an innovation feast that many is, is contemplating today with robotics and artificial intelligence and so on. We say that because innovation is much, much more than just inventions. Innovations need to strive in an economic system. And in the economic system we're talking about in the Western world today is, of course, capitalism. And capitalism, according to Josef Schumpeter, the innovative process of capitalism is a perennial gale of creative destruction. It's a perpetual process in where you have space for economic experimentation, entrepreneurship, and fast adaptation of new inventions. It forces businesses, investors, labor, and government to change, to adapt, to improve, to do something better. But capitalism is, is, is more than that. Big innovation is all about allowing and embracing uncertainty unpredictability and contestability. Uncertainty especially is something that we have a problem with today because it is in the uncertain environment we usually find the big innovations. But the West is nothing like that today. We have been very much addicted to predictability, certainty and control. There is no room for unpredictability, contestability or fast adaptation. So the question is, what has happened to capitalists? Why are we in this position? Not to be too overdramatic, but four horsemen of capitalist stagnation rode into Corporateville and actually trashed the place. First is corporate ownership that completely changed. Globalization, third one is regulations, and fourth one is corporate managerialism. Capitalism is a system for ownership. The key player in capitalism is the capitalist. But over the last 50 years, we removed the capitalist from the equation and introduced institutions. So today, mostly institutions own, govern, and steer our companies. Secondly, we moved from investing in companies, or in the real economy and the industry, as we say here, into finance. The financial economy has been doing very well over the last 20, 30 years. And just to give you an example, for every real industrial dollar or, GD or pound, if you, if you wish, there's 10 financial dollars resting on that sole pound. So it gives you an idea of where our priorities rest. Ownership has gone from investing in new innovations to saving for pensions. And the change is quite dramatic. And we don't have to go back especially far to, to, to get an idea of how, how tremendous that change has been. When the German Chancellor introduced somewhat like the modern pension system in Europe, he was called a socialist because he decided that if you manage to be 70 years or older, Perhaps you can get a small pension. At the time, the average uh, life expectancy in Germany was around 40 years. So that was, not a, that was not a daring proposition. Today in Germany, you live until you're 81, 82, and you, you retire at the age of 61 or 62. And we expect a lot from our pensions. So we, we, we are forced to look into and, and cater for the pensions and, and the savings around pensions, and it, in, it affects the whole economic system that we live in. In fact, many of the pensions organizations and, and investment funds today, facing low rents, as we have been doing for many years, are getting increasingly nervous because if the, if the yields are not picking up anytime soon, they're going to run into big problems, many of them. So ownership changed, and it became gray. So we're talking about gray capitalism and gray capitalist ownership. We, going into companies, we see what really happens when, when ownership turns gray. We tend to move away from uncertainty and focus only on risk. That is, anything we cannot quantify into a risk in a company today is something we stay away from. And again, coming back to why is that important, it is when something is uncertain. That is usually where the big innovations hide. Uncertainty you cannot, you cannot define as risks. We have removed the entrepreneur and entrepreneurship from companies, and instead we have bureaucrats running according to a planning schedule. Entrepreneurs is key for a successful innovative society. And we have gone from contesting markets into planning for change. So we think that we can take all of the uncertainties and peculiarities about the future, put them into a little Excel sheet, and then just run with it. And, and life will be very, very predictable and everything is going to be perfectly fine and, and no one will get hurt. Life doesn't work like that. So we have three numbers in front of us here just to exp 
explain a little bit what has happened to corporations and what is the, basically the, the outcome of a corporate culture that we call corporate managerialism. The first one is 7%. Now 7% is according to studies from, from BCG, how much bureaucratization has increased in companies every year for the last five decades. Gives you, think of it, it's, it's quite an extraordinary number. The second one is how many goals an average CEO of a big company is handed from the board to steer the company towards. It has gone up tremendously over the last 40 to 50 years. And, and think of it, I mean, if you were to do something, have an important task to do, and you set yourself 40 different goals, it's, it's just no way. I mean, many of these goals that, that the companies are given today are absolutely contradictory. It's, 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 it's impossible to actually strive for something today unless you take those, that number down quite significantly, and we're not doing that. 75%, according to one study, is an example of American CFOs, chief financial officers, said that they would prefer to destroy economic value in a company if, it per, if the company was perceived to be more predictable coming uh, report times. And this is quite extraordinary. We have capitalism today is a bureaucratic planning machine in where we, all of us, view companies from the fact that if we are planable or not, not if we create value.